Celebrities that live in Brooklyn When you think of celebrities and where they live, the first that will come to your mind will be Beverly Hills and Manhattan. However, famous people are seeking some quiet time and peaceful living, as all people do. Factoring this in, we have come to a very interesting trend where celebrities are moving to Brooklyn. In this video, we will find out what are the most interesting areas that celebrities are living and who's living in them. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the video. We would definitely appreciate that. So let's start. Why Brooklyn? First, we will dive into the question of why, of all places, is Brooklyn the choice of residency for these celebrities? NYC has always been attractive to live in if you're a celebrity, but that was mostly reserved for Manhattan, Soho, and Tribeca, for example. However, things have changed, and it changed a lot. From the end of the 20th century, when even celebs who were born in Brooklyn were trying not to mention it, to this day, where they buy condos just to say that they live in Brooklyn. A simple explanation of this trend is that Manhattan became too mainstream. Naturally, when something is mainstream, it attracts a lot of attention towards it, so celebrities wanted to get out of that. Therefore, they chose Brooklyn, so they're still in NYC, but they can enjoy a little bit of peace. Park Slope Described as a mix of natural beauty and modern lifestyle, this part of Brooklyn, originally colonized by the Dutch settlers back in the 17th century, has interesting things to offer. When you are in Park Slope, you will get that suburban vibe that is generated by things like tree-lined sidewalks, community-wide love for gathering spots, greenery in general all over the place, and stoop front gardens. The bonus part is that you are close to places like the Brooklyn Public Library, Brooklyn Academy of Music, Brooklyn Conservatory, and more. It's no wonder that Park Slope grade schools, both public and private, are considered the best in the whole of New York City. Knowing this, let's see which celeb peeps are living in this part of Brooklyn. Steve Buscemi One from, now maybe even, old school actors is a long-life resident of Park Slope. He has been living here for decades. It's no surprise because he has nothing left to prove to anyone. Patrick Stewart the beloved British actor had similar thinking as Buscemi. He wanted peace and a suburban-like feel in the part of the city where everything is nearby. He has been living in the same central slope for years now. Peter Sarsgaard and Maggie Gyllenhaal This couple bought a brownstone house in North Slope back in 2006 for $1.91 million, but they aren't residents of Park Slope anymore. The reason for this is that they have sold the house in 2019 for $4 million. They have lived here for 12 years, renovating the house and filling it with style. We hope they aren't that far from Brooklyn. Emily Blunt and John Krasinski This couple as well sold their house in Park Slope. In 2016, they bought a limestone house in Prospect Park for $6 million. However, this adorable Hollywood couple, after just 2.5 years of grieving, sold it for $6.5 million. The reason is they didn't spend much time there. The twist in this series of events is that they bought two eight-floor units for $11 million in the same building as Matt Damon. He and the part where the famously growing The Standish is are next on our list. Brooklyn Heights When you are in Brooklyn Heights, you have an amazing panoramic view of Lower Manhattan if you were to be on Brooklyn Heights Promenade. On the promenade, you can also encounter dining, live theater, music performances, and shopping. Keeping up with the culture and history, you can visit Brooklyn Historical Society and New York Transit Museum. You can see Lower Manhattan, but you can be there quickly as well, because Brooklyn Heights is the second part of Brooklyn, after Dumbo, that you will hit after crossing Brooklyn Bridge. In Brooklyn Heights, you will see charming streets lined up with lovingly restored row houses. This all makes a unique and cozy residential feel. Matt Damon We've already said he will be on this list, and we'll start this list with him. He is a neighbor to our beautiful couple. He lives in the same building, The Standish, in a penthouse that he purchased for $16.75 million back in the summer of 2020. Bjork This Icelandic singer-songwriter is an ex-resident of Brooklyn Heights. She sold her penthouse for $8 million back in 2019, which she bought in 2009 for just $4.5 million. This penthouse is located at 160 Henry Street. Paul Giamatti we can proclaim him the neighbor of John Krasinski, Emily Blunt, and Matt Damon. Since 2010, he's owned the condo near the Standish and Parker's duplex. Mary Louise Parker Also living near the Standish, this actress bought a place back in 2018. The five-bedroom, $4.3 million worth duplex has views on Brooklyn Promenade and Manhattan Skyline. There are others on this list, but we will just mention some of them, and those are Adam Driver and Sarah Jessica Parker. Borum Hill Dining destinations on Smith Street, refurbished townhouses, and growing celebrities in this part of Brooklyn make it desirable and fashionable just like any other part of NYC. 
What started as a Manhattan suburb in the 1800s where families settled to enjoy the small-town experience in the shadow of the ever-growing city transformed into something else. Although it has had its ups and downs in the 1970s and 1980s, it began to be revitalized as a nice place to live. The peaceful atmosphere, wide tree-lined streets, many options for transportation, and proximity to Manhattan and Long Island Railroad are some of the benefits of living in Borum Hill. Strolling down the streets of Borum Hill, you may face some of these people. Emily Mortimer Indie actress and screenwriter has found herself in this cozy neighborhood. We should mention that she is British. Ethan Hawke one of the first celebs who moved to Borum Hill. In 2013, he bought a four-story Greek Revival townhouse for $3.9 million. Rose Byrne and Bobby Cannavale Near Mortimer, Grammy Award-winning Bobby Cannavale and Aussie sweetheart Rose Byrne have settled in. Their house with exposed beams and whitewashed bricks makes it a classic Brooklyn townhouse. Cobble Hill Usually, these Brooklyn neighborhoods were settled in the 1800s, but this one was settled even earlier. The Dutch were first as well here as the farmers set foot in the mid-1600s. Thanks to the New York City Landmarks and Protection Commission, this part of New York is astonishingly preserved to this day. In this part of Brooklyn, you can find the cultural influences of Italian, Native American, Swedish, English, and Dutch residents, which all overlap each other, blending in and creating the most diverse mix where longtime residents and newcomers are proud to call it home. Daniel Craig and Rachel Weisz Let's add more British people to this list. One and only James Bond has found himself among Brooklyn residents. His wife, Rachel Weiss, purchased a lovely townhouse from fellow Brits. Nora Jones This multiple Grammy-winning singer was once the owner of two houses in Cobble Hill. In 2009, she became the owner of a beautiful five-bedroom townhouse. She bought a carriage house for $6.25 million, which was a set for Eat, Pray, Love. A short while after she sold the townhouse, this happened in 2020 for $8 million. Fort Greene Brooklyn's cultural movement has its roots in this neighborhood and art has been welcomed as well. John Steinbeck and Walt Whitman called Fort Greene home back in their time. We can say that they paved the way for today's notable artists like musician Erica Badu and filmmaker Spike Lee, who is a die-hard Knicks fan. There is definitely something in the air that creates such energy, which inspires and fuels creativity for the people who live here. Christina Ricci This American actress didn't buy a brownstone near the park as most celebs would. Instead, in 2015, she decided to buy a house near the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. Holly Hunter The Atlanta-born actress has built her career in New York. We guess that back in the 1980s, when she was at the beginning of her career, she fell in love with NYC. Currently, we don't know her residence, but from the period between 2014 and 2019, she has lived on South Oxford Street in a four-bedroom brownstone house. This ex-residence of hers cost her $3.3 million. Why would you choose to live in Brooklyn? Everyone has a reason why they should live in some place or another. As we saw in celebrities' cases, that is because of culture, quiet place to live in, near Manhattan getaway, or a well-connected place that has every one of those. On the other hand, homes in this part of NYC can be both expensive for rent and for buying, as we've seen. Don't worry about this because there's always an option to find a beautiful, good house or flat on a low budget. Although it is considered to be a hipster's part of NYC, you can find many families which kept old houses or inherited them from relatives. If you decide to make Brooklyn your home, you may want to try out Dumbo Movers. They can move you to Dumbo, Brooklyn, where you can see Anne Hathaway and many other places as well. Check them out if you're on the verge of making such a great decision like moving to another place.